Hi there, my name is Neil Fluister, Senior Product Manager with Polycom, and I'm joined again by my very good friend and colleague, Jonathan Clark, who is our Executive Experience Centre Briefing Manager. And uh, what we want to do today is just to go over one of the new features that's coming out in the group series in the latest 5.1 software. So uh, what we've got here is a standard group series. This happens to be a 500, Mind From Home, uh, that we've been using for some of the concierge demos. And we've hooked this up to a 70-inch sharp uh, touchscreen. So we've got the HDMI going to the touchscreen, and we've got a USB cable plugged into the back of the group series. And now we can actually interact with the group series using a touchscreen. Now, why is this important? This is important because touchscreens are becoming part of our everyday life. Every user is now used to using a smartphone device via touch, a tablet device via touch, and even our Windows laptops are now coming with touch. So what we wanted to do is to provide that uh, touch interface on the group series. Let me give you some of the benefits as to why touch is so powerful and useful when it comes to the user experience when interacting with a video conferencing system. So the first thing I love to show is the calendar. All of our group series uh, platforms allow us to integrate our Exchange calendar or other uh, calendaring platforms into the group series. So you can see here along the top uh, a calendar. On the, underneath we've got this join button. So literally I can come into a meeting room with a touchscreen device, come in and literally just tap one button, uh, click the join button and the magic will happen and I will then dial into the call. Simple as that. Uh, once I'm then in the call, I can then interact with the call by bringing up this bar here, and you can see I've got camera controls, I've got mute, volume, content, hang up. So if I literally want to go in and mute my microphone, if I want to go in and adjust the volume, I can do that by literally just moving the slider up and down. And then obviously when I finish my call, I can go back and literally just hang up. Or press content, let's just hang up quickly, there we go. One of the things that really comes to life with touchscreen is content. So Jonathan, do you want to show how that works? Yeah, because I've got a magic finger and I want to do some content. There's a big button here which I'm just going to, uh, well, press. And it's just going to bring to life a visual board, which is just down here on the side. And I just double click on that. And that will take it into the visual board or just uh, appear on the screen. and give me that ability just to annotate any content that's uh, in that meeting space. Uh, and then we've got blackboards, whiteboards. And uh, then I can just annotate and say, uh, group 500, in my typing. Oh, look at that, and a question mark. Your, uh, yeah, your sleeve is typing too. This is very good. You're very good at this. Oh, look at that. Touch. Awesome. Five dot one software. Awesome. So the 5.1 software and the touch capability is available across the group series range, so it can be supported on all of the uh, group series platform. Again, just some of the other quick things uh, to just highlight on this. If we're obviously in a call screen, very, very simple to dial a number. One of the fantastic things is the fact of doing alphanumeric. You ever tried using a remote control to type in a SIP address? Bring the keyboard up and bang. If you've got a really complicated surname like myself, it's very easy to come in here and dial your uh, address in here. As you can see, I can enter in numbers very, very quickly and very easily. One of the other great things about having a touch screen is the fact that we can scroll through lists. So for example, if you've got your contacts, your calendar, in this case on my system, I'll go through my recent calls, I can literally just scroll through the list of calls, scroll through my directory. When I find the number that I wanna find, tap on it and bang them away. Can I just ask you a question? Of course. What happens when you're in a call and you want to do layouts and settings? Can you do that from this as Absolutely, well? Absolutely, yeah. So we can go into uh, our layouts as well. Uh, we can, well you need to be in a call. You're now confusing me completely. Let's go into a call. And uh, let's place a call here on the uh, system. So I'll just dial into my VMI. You can see literally how easy it is to uh, interact with the system. When we're then in a call, you want to bring up the bar there. Perfect. So there we go. Oh, that's too, too giddy on my fingers. <laughs> Excellent. We can go into our go. Uh, more, there we go, and we can go to our participant layout. So we can go into here and then choose whatever layout we want to use on the screen. So here you can see all the different layouts. So if I've got a meeting and I want to change very, very quickly to a different layout, bang, I can go and, uh, and change the layout on the system. So that's just a quick brief overview of the new touchscreen capabilities that we've got coming to Group Series 5.1. It's an excellent opportunity for AV integrators to be able to uh, add value with regards to integrating touchscreens. And obviously from our customer's point of view, it gives you a fantastic interface to really simplify the usage of video conferencing. So let's just say goodbye to our good friend, the remote. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. So please like and subscribe the videos. Uh, we'll be doing lots more and uh, I hope you found that useful. Many thanks.